Good morning, children. I hope you are all fine. Yes, sir. No. Had your breakfast? Very good. So today we are going to see the continuation of the last class. So tell me what is the chapter which we are seeing now? Louder. Yes, very good. It is chapter seven. Now we are seeing our chapter seven. Okay. Can anyone tell me what is the name of the chapter, children? Yes, very good. Weather, climate, and adaptation of animals to climate. What is it? Weather, climate, and adaptations of animals to climate. This is the chapter which we are seeing, right? Very good, children. So these are all the content of the lesson. In the last class, we have seen about introduction. Yes, what is mean by weather and the introduction about this lesson. And we have seen the definition of weather. In today's class, we are going to see about climate and the adaptation of animal to the climate. What is it? We are going to see about the climate and the adaptation of the animals to the climate. And in the next class, we will have the adaptation continuation of the adaptation, and then we will have a recap in the last. Okay, children. So. As usual, we are going for the recap. So, what is mean by weather? Yes, the day-to-day -day condition of a atmosphere. The day-to-day -day condition of an atmosphere at a place where we live, with respect to temperature, humidity, rainfall, wind speed, etc., is called weather. Yes, sir, no children. Okay, tell me what are the elements of weather? Name the elements of weather. Yes, very good. They are temperature, humidity, rainfall and wind speed. They are the elements of weather. Yes, weather is nothing but the day-to-day condition. -day we are getting daily weather report, right? So that is called as weather. So these are all the elements of weather. What are all they? Temperature, humidity, Rainfall and wind speed. So, what is the instrument used to measure the amount of rainfall, children? Rain gauge. Very good. Rainfall is the so rainfall is measured by an instrument called rain gauge. And then we are seeing what is mean by temperature. Temperature is nothing but which is used to measure the hotness or coldness of a body. So, we have seen different types of thermometers also in chapter 4. And what are all the units that are used to measure temperature. Next thing is humidity. Humidity is nothing but the concentration or the amount of water vapor which is present in the air. So, they are invisible to us but we are able to feel that. That is humidity. The third one is rainfall. So, when the water vapors reaches the atmosphere, they are condensed to form a thick droplets and reaches the earth as rain. Next thing is wind speed. So the movement of air is called wind. It always moves from a high pressure area towards a low pressure area. So the wind speed is measured by an instrument called, what is that instrument children? Very good. It is anemometer. What is it? Anemometer. The wind speed is measured by an instrument called as anemometer. Then we have seen temperature graph, right? So here a temperature graph for a week is given. So from this graph we are clear that the temperature is daily not same. It varies. So we are going to see one more graph which is there in your book. Do you know to draw graph children? Graph sheets have you seen in your maths? Yes. First by taking graph sheet what we have to do? We have to mark the axis as x axis and y axis. So in the x axis what we have taken children? We have taken here date. So in the x axis what we have taken? We have taken as date. So, and in the y-axis we have taken temperature. So, here a temperature of 1 week is given. So, what is this axis? It is 
x axis. What is this? x axis it is taken as date. Date is marked here. And in the y axis, what is this children? It is y axis, right? So y axis what we have marked? That is the temperature. That is what is it? Temperature. So 21, 22. So here it starts from 24 and ends in 23. So we can take the reading as 21, 22. Okay. So the date has started in 3 and it ends in 9. So what is the difference between here children? The difference between 3 and 4 is 1. 4 and 5 is 1. And note in the y axis the difference between 21 and 22 is 1. 22 and 23 is also 1. So what is the scale reading? x axis 1 cm equal to 1 day and y axis 1 cm equal to 1 degree celsius ok in the next upcoming classes i will explain how to draw a graph ok children so this you will be having in your lesson so drawing a graph for the motion so at the time i will explain you clearly how to take the axis how to write the scale readings okay children now just look at here the date and the maximum temperature of given so for the date we what is the temperature it is 26 yeah we have marked it here as 26 and for 4 23.5 5 25 so we get different types of temperature for different days so we have first pointed out and by using a scale we have joined the dots so by this whether the temperature is same for all the days? No. It differs. Okay children. Next thing. What is used to measure the temperature? Yes we use maximum minimum thermometer for measuring the temperature. Maximum minimum thermometer. And then who is responsible for all these changes children? Very good. Sun is responsible for all these changes. The heat from the sun is responsible for all the changes which takes place in the earth. Clear? So we have seen. What we have seen children? Yes. Sun is the main source of heat and light. Yes or no? Sun is the main source of heat and light. It is situated miles and miles away from our earth. But we are able to feel that heat. So the daily changes which takes place in the atmosphere are due to the action of sun. Shall we go to the next children? Yes, today we are going to see a new topic that is climate. Up to this we have seen the, what we have seen in the last class we had a recap. Now we are going to see a new topic. Just note it down children whether you are ready with your note. Yes, write in your note put today's date and write climate. Write the definition there. Climate is the long term average of weather. Climate is the long term average of weather. Typically average over a period of 30 years. Climate is the average weather in a given area over a long period of time. Look at here children. Weather. We take it for one day. But climate, we take the average of weather and take it as climate. Consider we have seen graph right. So like that we they used to have graphs for different data like for months, years. We have data for years right. So they used to take the average of the year. Consider the average temperature of year. One year is 30 degrees Celsius. And the next year is 32. And the next year is 28. So they used to take average. You need you know to take average right. Adding all and dividing it by the average number. Okay. So climate is nothing but it is the average of weather. So climate we take the average of weather given over a period of time. So they consider 30 years or 25 years. So the average weather report taken over a period of 30 years or 25 years is called as climate. So by seeing this thing, you will be clear. So if the temperature of a place is hot, what is it? If a temperature of a place is hot for most of the days and there is more rainfall, 
the temperature of a place is hot and there is more rainfall so we can say the climate of the place is hot and wet example which they have given here is kerala so it has hot days for most and it receives more rainfall also so we can say that place is hot it receives rainfall we can say it also as wet and here one more example if the temperature of a place is hot for most of the days so we can say that as hot and it receives very less amount of rainfall so if there is less amount of rainfall what happens the place would become dry so the temperature of the place is hot and dry so example here which they have given is rajasthan okay hot and wet kerala hot and dry rajasthan clear children now next one so here they have given one graph so that they have given a temperature of a place so what is the place they have given srinagar it's the capital of jammu and kashmir right so srinagar jammu and kashmir so what is the month they have given the month january february march april may june july august september october november and december okay children so and they have given the daily minimum and daily maximum temperature so in january the minimum temperature in jammu is minus 2.3 what is it children minus 2.3 so it is less than freezing point is yes or no and the maximum temperature is 4.7 and in february it is minus 0.6 and the maximum temperature is 7.8 so they get this by the average of one month okay so and they have given the rainfall also in millimeter 57 65 so it is the average rainfall of the month and the day average maximum and minimum temperature of the given months okay next the given graph is for kerala that is tirunelveli right so the capital of kerala is tirunelveli right so they have given a average temperature of the months and the rainfall also so what is the minimum temperature 22 and the maximum in the month of january is 31.5 and the rainfall is 23 and february 22.8 31.9 and the rainfall is 24 so here we need to compare we need to compare these two places okay so in january the minimum is 2.3 but in kerala it is 22 it is greater right so compared to jammu kerala is hot it's a natural and the rainfall you see that rainfall received also so the rainfall received by jammu and kashmir is more than kerala Yes or no, children? No. But comparing to the average rainfall, Kerala receives most. Look at here in the month of April, May, and June and July. So what is the amount of rainfall? It is more than two hundred. But here it is less than hundred. So the rainfall received by Kerala is more. Okay. So what about the temperature of the places, children? Comparing to the daily maximum and minimum temperature. Yes. Jammu and Kashmir is colder compared to Kerala. Yes or no? So Jammu is cold, Kerala is hot. We can take the comparison between Tamil Nadu and Kerala also. We can take a average of the temperature. So what would be the answer? Kerala is cold, Tamil Nadu is hot. And we can compare it with other states also, and we can get the climatic condition of the. period okay children so if the place is more hot and it receives rainfall it is called hot and wet if it is more hot and receives less rainfall hot and dry the place is cold but it receives less rainfall so if it is cold also the rainfall will be adjust so cold and wet so these are all the different types of climatic conditions which we have they are hot cold wet and dry clear children so look at here the difference between weather and climate weather condition of atmosphere in a place during a short period of time weather is taken for a 